I'm Dan Larson, and this is Marvel Legends Dormammu Wave Power Man Iron Fist in four minutes or less. Marvel Legends Power Man, I mean Iron Fist, is a six inch action figure and part of the Dormammu Build a Figure Wave, which is also technically the Doctor Strange movie wave, since three of the eight figures are based on designs from the film. Pow Iron Fist is not from the Doctor Strange movie, but his Netflix series will join the Marvel Cinematic Universe in March of 2017. Look, I never read the comics with any regularity, and the first time I saw an ad for the characters, I wasn't sure which one was Power Man and which one was Iron Fist. I assumed the guy with the energy fists was Power Man, and the dude with the metal bracers and tiara was Iron Fist. It stuck. To this day, I have to stop myself for a moment and think about which one is Power Man and which one is Iron Fist, so I was really glad when Luke Cage just dropped the whole Iron Power Man thing and started going by his regular name. Iron Fist is built on the Pizza Spider-Man body, which has been used for quite a few characters at this point, including Spider-Man 2099, Superior Venom, and Iceman. It's a great choice because it's a slim, athletic body type and has the butterfly shoulder joint that lets him get into all kinds of sweet kung fu poses with the kicking and the punching and the ab crunching. Strangely enough, it is not the same body that was used for the white costume Iron Fist in the All-Father Wave. Similar build, similar posability, but an all-new sculpt from head to toe. Dormammu Iron Fist comes with two sets of interchangeable hands. One set is cast in translucent plastic to illustrate the use of his mystic chi powers, and the other set is a regular non-power activated hands that have a bandage wrapped deco. Both sets detach at the mid forearm, which looks great, but prevents them from switching with the other three additional sets of hands that All Father Wave Iron Fist came with, as those detach at the wrist. However, the bandage wrapped hands on the new Iron Fist also detach at the wrist, so you can use those previous handsets, you'll just have to trim off about a sixteenth of an inch from the pegs, and then your new green suited Iron Fist can roll out with five different sets of hands. Dream with me that someday this will be standard. The new Iron Fist also comes with a pair of translucent fireball punch accessories that can be attached to either set of clenched fists on both Iron Fist figures, and probably just about any other figure you have in your collection that has a punching fist. If you're not interested in a third tier character like Iron Fist, especially when it's a 90% recycled Spider-Man figure that you probably own four or five times in your collection, then this is an easy pass. But if you're a fan of guys named Dan and translucent accessories, especially when those accessories are extra handsets, then this figure is a must have. So buy it if you see it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with all of your friends named Dan or Luke or Jessica or Matt. And let us know in the comments below if you have a petition going to get a new Luke Cage made so we can sign it. The Toy Biz one is grossly outdated at this point, and the SDCC Thunderbolts one is like $150. So no on that. No. Not for me. Yeah.